Okay, let's take a look at an advanced math problem anyone can do. So this is the problem. We're going to do this in a second. And uh, this word advanced is all relative. You know, what's um, advanced uh, to you might be basic to me. And then there's levels of mathematics that I didn't uh, take that are, you know, um, are very advanced to myself. And I actually have a degree in mathematics. So again, this word is a relative term. But Oftentimes, when we look at something like this, something new, okay, and I'm assuming maybe you've never seen this symbol before, this looks pretty intimid intimidating, right? Uh, and it's like, what does this mean? You know, this is pretty scary looking, right? Maybe this thing has some teeth <laughs> in it, you know, some sort of crazy eye. It looks maybe like an alligator. What is going on? But oftentimes, um, I think a lot of students perceive math to be advanced because of the uh, the symbology. The notation is different, okay? You have like crazy things like this or little symbols that you're not used to, and you're like, what does that mean? That must be super advanced. It must be very difficult. And in fact, you know, uh, some of these things are abstract in and of itself, but you know, a lot of what you would perceive as being advanced math, and I'm talking about probably for most of you out there, Anything above and beyond algebra, maybe algebra 2, college algebra, pre-calculus, those type of things, the notation that you're introduced to is new, and I think that can be a little intimidating. So my point here in this video is to show you that, you know, don't be overly intimidated by advanced math, okay? You can learn it. But like anything else, it's just learning one concept at a time. You kind of build yourself up. and all these steps that you you uh, are learning are going to be applied in future topics that you need to learn in mathematics. That's why it's important. Math builds upon itself, and when you're not, you know, paying attention or really, you know, building your foundation up, that's where I think people struggle uh, in math, and now math becomes difficult. Okay, so we're going to get into this problem in just a second. But first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math uh, video programs there is. I'll, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can find a, a link to it in the description of this video. But my math help program, um, I have full math courses. So if you need to take a full, complete math course, I can help you out. And if you need assistance in your current math class, I can help you out. So I offer full, comprehensive, very in-depth, uh, full video lessons. And I teach you how to solve the most common math problems you know that you're going to face as a middle and high school uh, math student and even in college so i do thousands of problems it's taken me years to build so again if you're interested you can find the link in this video now um let's talk about notes i'm going to make an assumption that you're probably taking some sort of math class right now uh, or maybe you're planning on taking a math class the the thing that i like to stress about notes is this over decades of teaching math, it's apparent to me that those students who take the best math notes almost always have the best math grades, and the reverse is true. If you're not taking good math notes or you, do, uh, or you have sloppy math notes or inconsistent math notes, then math is going to become difficult for you, Okay, especially here in advanced math. It becomes even more critical. Okay, So as you progress in your mathematics journey, you have to be a great note taker. But it's a skill you need to take on uh, to improve. Take a look at where you stand and improve uh, if you need to improve. But in the meantime, if you need something to study from, I actually offer math notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find links to those in the description of this video as well. Okay, let's get into this advanced math problem at anyone can do. All right, so here it is. This little thing here, okay, this is what we call a sigma notation. Sigma, like this, it's a Greek alphabet type of deal. And this symbol, like this, basically means sum, okay? It just means add up, add up. That's all it means, okay? So, you know, the symbol is telling us to do something, okay? It means, you know, add something up. And this has to do with the more advanced uh, math concepts called sequence and series, all right? And a sequence, just real quick, would be something like this. One, no, let's say three, five, seven. You can see a pattern going on here, right? So this is a, a mathematical sequence. 
And if I was to add all these little terms up here, we have a series. And this does um, um, relate to more advanced mathematics in terms of, it's kind of getting ready for you to study uh, calculus, okay? Because we have another symbol, like this sigma symbol to sum up in calculus. It's a, called an elongated S. You've probably seen it. Looks something like that. Looks kind of crazy. But these symbols mean something, right? And it doesn't have to be overly complex. Anyone can understand this. So let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, so what this symbol is telling us is to, we want to, take this little thing right here, this n squared plus uh, 1. Let's do it over here. And we see I already have some work done. Let's just pay attention real quick over here. n squared plus 1. Okay, n is just a variable, okay, that we could plug in any number to. Okay, when we plug a number to uh, n, it be this thing becomes a value in and of itself. Okay, so I plug in n equals 1, right? If I let... Uh, n equals 1, and I plug it into this n squared plus 1, that means I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to plug in 1 for this n, and I'm going to square it plus 1. 1 squared is 1 times 1, which of course is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right? So did what we're saying here, what this symbol is, is telling us to do is saying, okay, I want you to uh, start from 1, start from 1, and go all the way up to 5. So we're going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we'll stop at 5. So this is the starting point. This is the ending uh, point. We care of the starting value and the ending value. And when we do something called indexing, we're just going to start there. We're, we're going to move up. Okay, we're going to keep going all the way up to 5. And we're going to plug in these respective numbers, okay, into this, into this little expression, this algebraic expression here. And then we're just going to add up the results. That's all we're going to do. Okay, so we'll start with n equals 1. There we go. So uh, 1 squared plus 1 is 2. Okay, we're done with that. Now we'll move on to 2. Okay, so 2, we're going to let n equals 2. All right, we're indexing up. So that's 2 squared, which is 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay, now we'll move on to 3. So 3 squared is 9, okay, or 3 times 3, plus 1 is 10. Okay, now we'll move on to 4. So 4 squared is 16, plus 1 is 17, and then we'll, we'll uh, finish up at 5. So 5 squared is uh, 25, plus 1 is 26. So what we want to do now is add all these guys up. So the way you can, another way you can kind of see this is this way, okay? So this is what this means, all right? We're going to start with 1 and end at 5, n squared plus 1. So this is where n was equal to 1, this is where n was equal to 2, this is where n was equal to 3, n is equal to 4, then we'll stop here, n is equal to 5, and we had these respective terms here, okay, of this series, and now I can just add all these guys up, 2 plus 5 plus 10 plus 17 plus 26 is 60, okay, so this uh, symbol, okay, is a convenient way to uh, uh, express sums, okay, sums of what we call a series. And, and, you know, but you can have all kinds of various patterns and ways to get uh, these terms, okay. But in mathematics, what we like to do is to use shortcut notation, okay, notation that we can understand what's going on to make our life easier, okay. And a big part of advanced math is understanding that notation. Remember, math is a language, and it doesn't have to be that difficult. Okay, again, I think where math becomes difficult for a lot of people, and I'm not saying that there's not abstract concepts in mathematics. There definitely is. Okay, but I think um, more often than not, the challenge for a lot of math students is they uh, they're not focused enough on building up their foundation. Okay, you got to pay attention in math. It's, you know, it's very much like driving a car, okay? So here's the road, here's your car, okay? Just because you've been keeping your car, you know, in, you know, the lane, okay? You're keeping yourself off the side of the road here. You have to always pay attention to keep yourself on the right path. And the same thing in math, okay? As soon as you take your, 
eye off the road, thing, bad things can happen. And in math, uh, you know, as soon as you stop paying attention, you're like, oh, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. You know, just for the last 300 miles, we've been driving safely. But that has nothing to do with the next mile that you're going to drive, right? If you stop paying attention, immediately things can go wrong. Same thing in math, okay? Uh, especially in more advanced levels, you have to always pay attention and be focused, all right? That's why note-taking is so critical, um, having strong math notes. Believe me, when I say these things, I'm, I'm speaking from years, decades of experience, okay? All right, so if some way you liked this video, were entertained by it, <laughs> enjoyed it in some manner, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, many, many years, constructed or developed uh, or made uh, a lot of math videos, hundreds and hundreds of videos organized uh, on various playlists on my channel. So. I have uh, basic math to more advanced math, but if you want my best math help, just follow the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.